So when I spoke with Utah about two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, I called him because for some reason he was on my mind. And I said, Utah, what's going on? He said, Tine, get ready to launch a book. And I said, what is it about? He said, well, it's my life story. And tonight I'm reminded about a young boy in Georgetown. When I used to write an article in the, one of the um, papers in Exuma, this young guy said that he was someone who always got in problems. And I asked him why. He said he was looking for his daddy's attention. He hoped that one day when the teachers are uh, chastising him, or for some reason he is at the police station, although he was a minor, all it was was because he was yearning for his father's attention. Amazingly, some of us in life, we do things to get our father's attention. Some of us who are not fortunate to have grown up with a father either get in problems with the law, do extremely well in school, or find our place in society. It's good that Utah find this, found this place. This story that Utah tells in this book is a compelling story of coming to terms with family and background. And it is also a compelling story of Mr. Charles' role, who embraced it from the other side. Because as I was saying earlier this evening, I have another friend who went down a similar path. And when he met his father, the answer was, do not come to my house, do not speak to me, and do not ever come around my family again. So it could easily have gone uh, in the other direction. And so I think all of us would want to congratulate uh, Mr. Charles Rowe. embracing Utah and, and I mean really he's like the spitting image of you and there's no question about that. The Tears I Cried tells the story of the endless search I went through to find my biological father. The lies, the detours, the psychological abuse, the gangs, the drugs, 34 years of deceit. Total of four swaps all together. Okay. Do the first two open up for me. $1,000 on DNA, then the shocking truth. When it comes to 33-year-old Utah Leonardo Maurice Taylor, Naaman, you are not the father. Not the father. Not the father. Books are available in paperback and audio disc and can be found at the Jukebox Mall at Marathon, United Bookstore Mall at Marathon, Chapter 1 Bookstore, Oaksfield, and the Mystical Fitness Gym, Palmdale. And I mean the response has just been like crazy. Abaco being calling, Exumo being calling, Ilucha being calling, I mean Freeport being calling, my phone being blown up. That's why today I had to rush to the airport and I sent a box load of books to Freeport. Freeport, you could go now and get your book, The Tears I Cried. You can get it at H&L Supply, School Supplies and Bookstore. That's H&L School Supplies and Bookstore. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss Beryl at Beryl's Bookstore in Freeport. Go down there and get your books. Exumo, Ilucha, Abaco. The tears I cried will be coming to you shortly. In the meantime, check this out, man. We have two young kids who produced the movie. I think it's Metamorphosis. Did I pronounce it correct? Yeah. All right. I ain't know if I can say it again. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all check out a clip with them, and we'll be right back. But uh, my name is Tyrone uh, J. Burrows. I'm the uh, CEO and president of Collage Entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, we're a production company. So we do anything from stage plays to commercial advertising. In any relation to Pastor Burrows? Uh, not that I know of. 
Boy, because oh, I, 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 um, you don't want to get in trouble here, and I just, yeah, did, yeah. I, I just did my book. I just found my 35 years, and I find my daddy. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's, that's almost like landlord. Yep, seriously, yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah. oh. And bro, your name? Um, my name is Glenn Sherman. Um, I work along with Tyrone uh, with Collage Entertainment, and I also have my own company, Sherga Entertainment. And uh, we just work together for the past four or five years. Um, I can get straight in, man. I walk in here this morning, you know, um, when I got a call, um, DJ Counselor told me, um, you know, say some cats, you know, they, they talk, they, 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 the street talk, some yeah. cats um, from BFM um, did a movie, man, and we won't mm -hmm. come on the show. And I just walk in here expecting to see the regular, typical, behemoth, you know, the, you know the, the mediocre videography and editing, and I was like blown out of my mind, and you all know I'm, a, I'm an editor, I'm a filmmaker. I was like speechless when I looked at the quality of this production man um i can try i can try you know my dog is tired on this word is it metamorph no you are you are saying you are saying it's, co it's called metamorphosis the art of transformation wow and pastor dave i was just in awe at that short clip i saw i can't wait to see the entire movie but um pastor dave share with us man well basically um metamorphosis every every year at the event is called Youth Alive, mm -hmm. but it's not just Youth Alive, but at Youth Alive, we produce a stage play slash movie, mm -hmm. and some of it is shot live, and then some of it is shot off-site. And uh, every year we do this movie, and we normally try to create stories that are real stories, mm -hmm. that really happen, or if it's not exactly based on a true story, it's loosely based on a true story. Uh, one year we did a story on my life, mm -hmm. And um, last year at Metamorphosis, we did a story on a young man who um, uh, was work he's, he's actually working with me right here in the ministry. Mm -hmm. And basically, it kind of traces his life back to where he was running from some guys, or some guys, was, they were planning on shooting him, and he had, he had to actually go in the bushes and hide out. Mm -hmm. And um, it shows some of the things that he went through, some of the things that his friends went through, and... Um, it also goes into the spirit realm. So you see uh, action on earth, and then you see action in the mm -hmm. unseen. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we do, these, we do these productions every year to enhance the whole Youth Alive experience because young people learn differently from adults. But Lincoln, I want to call on, like I said, when we start, I want to call on my good buddy, Hubert Engum. Hubert, please, man. I don't Come know on. what it is. Hubert is your buddy, but that's my daddy. Well, well, so be well, careful what well, you say. But no, but. yeah, I'm asking them to please listen to the people, man. We got to do something, man. People scared. I can't sleep at night. I constantly get up checking over thing, my you know. family, man. You know, I ain't comfortable on going nowhere. I, I don't go. I, I home. Hmm. I mean, you know, because I don't live in, 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 in the West Grove. I don't live on the Cable Beach stretch or Life with Key or Treasure hey, Next Grove. week we got to do a show. I got a call and I heard that. That, that a documentary was happening on ZNS, a three-part series mm. was going on on ZNS, right? and this is very important, Utah. Mm -hmm. A three-part series was going on in ZNS showing the poverty and, and the crime inside um, in the Hay Street area, mm -hmm. that's the Farm Road area, and um, um, some, a lot of corporate citizens got together, you know, mm -hmm. Bamboo Shark came out there and fed all the people, a lot of old mm -hmm. people out there suffering and stuff, and, you know. Bamu Shah came out and fed the people, you mm -hmm. know, Bamu Shah didn't really mix up. No. You know, they came out and fed the people. The Christian Council is getting a, a whole container of food, a whole trailer of food, and they're going to go there and feed, you know, people in that area, you know, and, 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 and per gang leaders and stuff, gang members were getting scholarships, like mm -hmm. one is going to go to pilot school, etc., etc. Some good things are happening in that community. Mm -hmm. But someone to ZNS, you know, um, called, said they got instructions, and they called um, um, the persons responsible for doing this story and told them to cut that story and don't ever show that again. This is the foolishness that is destroying our nation. Corporate citizens came together to do good. The Christian council came together to do good. And they cut that story and said it is not to be shown again. They stop fooling with ZNS. Stop meddling, whoever did that. Whoever did that is out of order. In fact, Utah, what, what I think, um, let's go get the tape and let us show it. Since ZNS here will show it. Yeah, we'll, we'll show it. We'll show it. We'll show the tape. Because I don't know what's wrong with showing corporate citizens and the Christian council coming together. You know, Jams Radio, they put it together. Coming together to help the poor. Once again, I can say this. Like I said before, secrets will destroy a nation. 
We got too much nastiness going on inside our nation. That's why all the crime, all the violence is going on right here. And we need to find a solution. 